Alright, time to start a new project. Today I'm going to be fixing the air conditioner on this 05 Hyundai Sonata. Going to be replacing the AC compressor, which is way down here. Going to be replacing the expansion valve. And I'm going to be replacing the condenser which includes the uh, accumulator. First step in the process is to get this AC compressor out. It's going to require removing the belt. And there's a splash shield way at the bottom. I'm going to have to go underneath and remove that too. You can see I've removed the belt. Look down there, you can see I've removed the splash shield underneath so I can get a little bit of access from underneath. There's two compressor to block bolts, both of them 12 millimeter, that are accessible from the top. They're actually not that bad. Now I've got to go down to the bottom and get the ones that are accessible from underneath. Alright, now we're underneath. If you look up, you can see two 12 millimeter bolts to hold the compressor to the block for underneath. For this, we use a ratcheting wrench. Gone ahead, got the compressor loose. Have to undone the one electrical connection, the four compressor to block bolts and the high side and low side fittings that go into it. Now we just have to get the thing out of there. I'm either going to go underneath, possibly just remove the side panel and go out through the wheel well. Let's find out. Got the compressor out. Had to go through this hole right here. It's just three 10 millimeter bolts holding this uh, little splash shield on. Alright, so here I am underneath the car. I'm going to go ahead and flush it. This is available at any auto parts store. The only thing I need other than that is compressed air. So here's the two lines that went into the compressor. Everything's in the right location. That's what I want to see. New compressor in place. Electrical connections made. New, new O-ring on the high and low side connection. Time to do the expansion valve, which is located right there. And the condenser. Got the old expansion valve out. This is what it looks like. Inside there's the evaporator core. Here's the lines going to it. And here is the brand new expansion valve. Four Seasons Part 39088.
just going to put some new O-rings on and put the new part on. Alright, new expansion valve is in place. New O-rings, new valve. Time to move on to the condenser. Got the new condenser in. Real pain. There was a bolt that was behind here. I had to pull out the battery box, pull out the uh, reservoir just to get at it. I had to pull out this upper radiator support, slid it out this way. So right now, putting a vacuum on it. I put the vacuum on for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I waited for another 20 minutes and it held the vacuum. So now it's just simply a matter of vacuuming it out. At least a good 20-30 minutes. Get everything out of the system. And then I'll be ready to charge it. Now we're on to the fun part. Getting there, slowly but surely. So now we're underneath. If you look up, you can see there's two 12 milli, uh, two 12 milliliter bolts. Da 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 da. Okay, much better.